we're going to try to find the following limit of this fraction when x goes to minus 1 from the right. So the this is a fraction of radicals. And once we plug in minus 1, we get 0 over 0. Therefore, this is an indeterminate form. If you know the L'Hopital's rule and you want to use it, you can go ahead and do it. Also, if you want to use the conjugate, you can do that as well here. But this will require a bit of work. So you want to learn how to deal with this kind of issues and how to find the limit. Okay? So uh, the multiplication by the conjugate will require a bit of work. Also, the the L'Hopital rule should work. I didn't try it, okay? But it should work here. But for us, we we gonna use some uh, elimination work. And first, we're gonna change this variable here because we don't wanna repeat the x one, x plus one all the time. So the first thing that we do is we're gonna let y equals x plus one. So as x goes to 1, minus 1 from the right, y is going to go to 0 from the right. So let's change this one. So this limit is the same as this one. So y goes to 0 from the right. So here we have the fourth root of y minus the third root of y over the third root of y minus the square. We don't do that here of y okay and uh, most of these issues most of the times is that we try to factor out and see what we can we can do to eliminate some of the numbers okay in our case we can we're gonna do a factorization by y to the power 1 over 4 because we can write this one using the powers notation as in this form okay so let's factor out by y over 4 and see on top and bottom and see what we can get okay let's do that if you want to stop the video and try it go ahead and do it so okay let's solve this one oh, yeah. we will factor it out on the bar, on top only on the top because they said on top and bottom on the top only because here we will see what we get that's what uh, what I'm trying to do factor out by this one and see what you can get okay let's do it so the limit as y go to 0 plus so if we factor out we're gonna leave it here so you're gonna have y 1 minus so y to one third minus y over four, it's gonna be one over 12. And here, we gonna have, uh, if we factor out this one here, we are gonna get this one going down, okay? So before we do that, before we do so, we're just trying to get these results here. So on the bottom, we're gonna factor out by the, 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 the y to the power one third, okay? So we have y minus, so y to the power one third, one half minus one third. Okay, so we have one half minus one third. So this is one over six. Just want to make sure that we get the right result. So here, gonna keep working again. So now I'm gonna take this one down. So I still have on the top y minus y, y to the power one over 12. And down I'm gonna have one minus one to the power one over six. And here I'm gonna have one over y to the power one over three minus one to the power one minus one to one over four. So this gives me one third minus one four. That means y to the power one twelve. 
okay so I see that I can do some cancellation here the only thing that you need is I need a 12 here so I can do that by multiplying on this one by 2 and dividing by 2 so I get the limit as y goes to 0 plus of 1 over y to the power 1 over 12 times 1 minus y over 1 to the power 1 over 12 so here I'm gonna do y minus y to the power 12 1 over 12 squared because I multiply by 2 and I divide by 2 so I want to get a remarkable identity here okay so now I see what they have here so this is the limit as y goes to 0 plus of 1 over y to the power 1 over 12 and now we have y minus y 1 minus y to 1 over 12 over 1 minus y to the power 1 over 12 times y plus y over 1 to the power 12 so here I used x squared minus y squared is x minus y times x plus y with x is 1 and y is y to the power 1 over 12 so now we can do some cancellation I can cancel this one here okay so I'm left with this one so the limit as y goes to 0 plus over 1 over y to the power 1 12 times 1 over 1 plus y to the power 1 over 12 okay now we can take my limit so the limit as I go to 0 of this one is gonna be only 1 this one when I get to 0 so I'm gonna divide 1 over 0 plus that means it's plus infinity so that means my limit is plus infinity yes let me see if I made the mistakes, some mistakes here. No, I take y to the power 1 over 12 squared. No, I don't think I made a mistake. So this is the right one. Okay, so this is 1. This is 1 over 112. Okay, and I think that's it. Okay, this solves our limit. And the limit here is infinite. That's the answer to this question.